All right, insiders, this is your weekly news flash, your official updates about what's going on on YouTube. Let's get into it. Okay, first up, we have a really exciting experiment. And what this one is intended to do is make learning content more accessible on the platform. So what we'll be doing is supplementing search results in English. We'll be supplementing those search results with results in Arabic, Portuguese, and Italian. Now, how we're going to make sure that this is still accessible and useful to those who've searched for something is when they look through the search results, they're going to see automatically translated titles and descriptions in all of those results. And if they select on one of those videos within the results, they're going to have automatic captions. We're going to start out just with these set of languages. So let us know how you're finding it. We really want to hear feedback. And if it's successful, we'll roll it out to more languages. Okay, next up, we have a really exciting launch, and that is the launch of hashtag landing pages on the main app. Now, we talked about this a couple of weeks ago, but what we're doing is rolling this out on the main app to 100%. Now, small detail is if you are a user and you're clicking on a hashtag, what you'll be brought to is the hashtag landing page, but it'll be specific to videos which share that hashtag. It won't just be as it previously was, those videos that are related to the topic that the hashtag relates to. So again, more feedback the better. You know where to put it, comments below or the send feedback link. Next up, we have more shorts news. That's right, more functionality. If you have the shorts camera, what we'll be doing over the next couple of weeks is adding functionality within the camera so that you can add a text overlay to your shorts. Now, this is very similar in terms of functionality to YouTube Stories. So if you've been using YouTube Stories, you'll see a little bit of a crossover there, a little bit of a similarity. Now, this is only the beginning. We'll be adding more features over the next couple of months to make sure that we can help you channel your creativity. Now, we are at the stage of the video where we address a specific question from one of you. Now, Loopop has put together a really comprehensive question. It's very long. And because of the fact that we want to continue to focus on audience retention, I'm going to synopsize that question. And you can read it right here in full. But if you're looking for that synopsis, it's basically asking Rachel, what's the right mix of videos to upload to my channel so that it, the algorithm doesn't give up on the channel itself? And Rachel replied, Hey there, so glad you're thinking so deeply about how to design content for your audience. Our recommendation system is designed more on the video level than the channel level, paying most attention to how each video performs when it's offered to viewers in their recommendations. If one video doesn't do well, it likely won't hurt the performance of your future videos unless viewers are consistently ignoring your videos when they're offered to them on home or suggested. So to avoid this scenario, you try spreading out the uploads of these different video types. So Loopop, thanks so much for that question. We're eager for the next question. We bring each one of these to the team that can provide the best answer in YouTube. So from the creators of YouTube to YouTube creators, this has been Creator Insider, your newsflash, official updates about what's happening on the platform and your opportunity to provide feedback to the people who can make those changes. Tune in next week. Thanks so much.